Finding the Mindanao body started with a choreographic intention. It was motivated to confront my fear on representation of the Mindanao indigenous and Muslim communities. The fear was first introduced when I was in high school. A choreographer I admired was criticized for being culturally irresponsible when she stylized an Igorot dance and turned it into a ballet dance piece. The same thing happened with other well-known Philippine dance companies like the Bayanihan and Leyte Dance Theater when their stylized folk dance aesthetics were frowned upon by some members of the indigenous and Muslim communities. What we need to understand about the voices of these communities is that they are rarely heard. I have this habit of asking my friends who like to be vocal for the causes of these communities, do we really know the story of the marginalized? There is no financial profit in that endeavor, unless when indigenous culture is hurled into the limelight to advance a few people's interests. The profit is always intangible, but not many like this kind of profit. I wonder too if I am guilty of this. Was my fear also my excuse? Did I fall into the same trap? This fear was fueled through the years, more so when my humanitarian work exposed me to the real story. I saw how indigenous knowledge and practices were threatened by armed insurgencies. I stole glimpses of that awful list of Lumad members killed, hoping that I will not stumble on names I knew. I saw how logging and mining companies encroached ancestral lands, how natural disasters displaced so many of them, and how the elders struggled to pass on traditions. It was this fear mainly that drove the intention to create a piece for messages that I cannot always explain clearly. The emotions, the history get in the way in presenting these messages in the same logic that is acceptable to those who take turns in wielding power. Fear that presenting its raw semblance may be ridiculed by Western aesthetics, or worst, reduced to the label of backward culture. I decided to confront this fear and I use the form that is closest to my heart. Dance. I paid close attention to the ethical compass when I was structuring Finding the Mindanao Body. As a performing artist, I have a moral obligation on the creation and transmission of the dances, their segments, and even their stylized arrangements. I kept, modified, and removed elements in the material, which was quite frustrating as I was constantly restructuring the choreography. I think that the piece is not yet finished. For every time I rehearsed or staged a performance, there was always something new that I learned. A movement, a reaction, an opinion, an expression, or a feeling. And if I was truly being honest in my approach, I have to acknowledge everything that is revealed in the process. I was certain about my theme, but it was challenging because of the multiple needs attached to it. My commitment to the ethical compass pushed me to uncover so many layers. I had to constantly ask myself questions and reevaluate my choreographic intention. The questions became more complicated as I dove deeper into my theme. So in the end, I created an organic performance piece that mapped out the journey, stories, identity of a dancer from Mindanao.
Usa ka komplikadong butang ang pagbiyahe pa uli sa usa ka mananayaw nga gikan sa Mindanao. Dili pwedeng hisgutan ang mga bahin sa sayaw nga samara sa usa ka batid nga ipakita sa entablado. Kung asa ka magatubang sa mga tao aron magpasundayag sa imong teknik o pagka mamugnaon. Tingali para sa uban, ang pagsayaw kay alang sa prestihiyo o alang sa pasundayag. Dili lang kini ang among realidad. Adunay kulang sa ingon aning realidad sa pagsayaw. Alang ka namo, gibit-bit namo ang Mindanao nga kabahin sa among mga lawas. Makita ni mo kini sa among mga mata, na usahay na ay kalinaw, usahay maluluyon, kadaghanan sa panahon, na ay kasuko tungod sa mga kasakit. Apan walay pildi. Makita ni mo kini sa kurbada sa among mga bukog, Ug kusog sa among mga bukton ug abaga. Kay kami na anad sa pagdala sa mga gibugaton. Bisan ang mga gibugatong dili amo. Makita ni mo kini sa among mga kamot, mga kamot sa tao nga nagpaningkamot, malikon nga paghawid, andam sa pagtabang, dili hamis, dili humok kasaligan nga mga kamot. Makita ni mo kini sa among mga tiil, kanunay nga nalambigit sa yuta, sa pakigsulti sa dayag, pinaagi sa pagtapik, paghagbo sa among mga tikod. Makita sab ni mo kini sa among mga nagdukong tuhod. Timaan sa pagkamaayo. Di mahimo nga madugta kining tanan gikan sa among mga lawas. Bisan diin kami mo adto gidala namo kini. Nakakatun man og bagong mga estilo sa sayaw gikan sa mga langyaw ang Mindanao kay kanunay gihapong makita sa among mga lawas.
ug kung giunsa sa among lawas makiglambigit sa among palibot. Usa ka komplikadong butang ang pagbiyahe pauli sa usa ka mananayaw nga gikan sa Mindanao. <tinyo>